I've always wanted to build my own low-cost development board so I can add more IoT devices to my home to make it smarter. Today in this video, I will be sharing with you guys the procedure I went through in order to get ESP node board ready for programming starting from an empty PCB. So you will see PCB assembly and soldering footage which is quite satisfying. We have a lot of work to do today, so without any further ado, let's jump on in. In this tutorial, I will show you guys the process that I've used in order to go from this empty PCB that I've designed to this development board that has a ESP32 that I'm planning to use in the upcoming tutorials. Of course, these PCBs, the mini hot plate and the stencil was provided by PCBWay, so a big thank for them. All right, so here after having everything assembled and checked, uh, I've added uh, these headers so I can put the produced uh, development board on this uh, small uh, breadboard. So in order to give you an idea about the size, Here's a roller, so the whole size of the development board uh, is around uh, 2 centimeters or a bit more. The thing is that it doesn't even exceed uh, 3 centimeters. Anyways, so here I have uh, the board uh, programmer and I have these pins aligned with the programming uh, pins of the development board, as you can see. So now all I need to do is to plug in uh, a Type-C USB cable. Okay, so now I'm plugging in the USB Type-C cable. Okay, so here I have an onboard LED. Now let's program the board uh, with a blinking example to check if everything uh, works well. Alright. Alright, so here I have prepared the spin-out diagram for the uh, development board that I have designed. ESP node. Uh, so here I can see all the uh, GPIOs and the peripherals pins uh, from this diagram. Uh, on this side you can see the important pins and they are actually aligned with the programmer uh, board. So here I have the ground reset, uh, UART transmission reception, 3.3 volt pin and boot. So this side can be connected to the programmer without using any external jumpers. Okay so here I have my LED blink example uh, compiled and as you can see it's built for uh, ESP32C2 chip so now let's flash it to the development board and as you can see everything uh, is still going well and as you can see the LED is also toggling so yeah, everything is working well. Okay, so right now let's jump into the PCB assembly process and see how everything got done. Okay, so here's the platform that I'm going to use in order to put the solder paste uh, on my PCBs. Uh, these uh, are designed in order to have ESP32C2 and I call them uh, ESP node so I can use them uh, with my projects. So I've placed these old PCBs from the connect board so I can put the ESP node board uh, just like that uh, so it doesn't move while uh, placing the solder paste on it so let's see how the process will go okay so now let me place the uh, stencil right on the PCB that I'm going to put the uh, solder paste on all right so now, now I can put the solder paste so here I have put some let's hope that uh, it's enough Okay, so right now, as you can see, uh, the solder paste is put um, without any problem. Okay, so here I have uh, this uh, serial port programmer PCB that I'm going to put solder paste on it so I can uh, use it with my projects as well. 
uh, I designed it in a way that uh, these pins are aligned with the ASP node PCB. Once this is produced, I will show you what I mean. So it will be quite handy to program uh, the ASP32 C2 in my case. So let's start putting the solder paste on it. Okay, so you can see here uh, all the pads uh, got solder paste equally. Okay, so right now I've prepared my setup. I have all my need. I have my PCBs uh, with uh, solder paste on them. I have the components that I'm going to use. And of course here I have the ESP32 module. So now uh, all I need to do is to uh, power this hot plate, the small hot plate that I'm going to use for soldering my PCB. Yes, one second. Yeah, so now it will start heating. Uh, so here we can see it uh, getting heated up. I can actually select the temperature that's going to reach. So it's going to heat up uh, till uh, 255 uh, Celsius. It has actually two buttons at the back. Oh, sorry. Okay, so apparently uh, I shouldn't uh, move it. Okay, so right now everything is okay. So now uh, I will put the components on the PCBs. And once this is uh, heated up, I will put the PCB with the components uh, on the hot plate in order to get my PCB done. All right, so here I have the 100 nanofarad uh, capacitors. Let's take them out from their package. And now here I have the 4.1 microfarad capacitor. These are going to be used as bypass capacitors for filtering the power inputs and outputs of the PCB that I'm using. Okay, so now I have everything aligned. Now I'm ready to put everything uh, on my PCB uh, to start soldering it. All right, so right now I have my hot plate uh, is at 258 uh, degrees. So let me put the PCB on the hot plate and see it being soldered. All right, so this uh, mini hot plate uh, is quite useful actually. I used it to produce my own uh, boards that I've designed. Uh, you can get it from a PCB Way store for around $100. It's definitely worth it. Uh, the usage of it is quite easy. You won't be using most of the features because all you need is to put uh, your produced PCB on this hot plate uh, to get it uh, soldered. I'll put the link of this uh, mini hot plate uh, in the video description so you can have a look at it.
So yes, as you can see, everything works well. I will be using this board in the upcoming tutorials where I can do more interesting stuff. Uh, so yes, this brings me to the end of this tutorial. I hope that you have learned something new. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it among your friends and tell them about useful electronics. See you in the upcoming tutorials and bye bye.